But we're going to be on our way right now. Game number one between Hoopla and Prince Leaf, the second annual runner-up of this tournament. Here we go. So they both have their razor shield to start things off. We've got Prince Leaf doing his classic top door strats. They have been working for him up to this point. Hoopla going to keep control of the middle, so we'll see what happens as we get into the opening room. And Hoopla, good use of the nuke, but it is going to be Prince Leaf with the hole shot by less than half a second. A low 39 versus a mid 39. So great arena ones to start things off for both of our contestants here. It is now time for collect power-ups. They're going to be looking for that all-important orb to double their attack power. Great drop to start with Oopluff with rockets. Grenades on the feet for Prince Leaf. Not the weapon he wants to see. And now the rich getting richer as Oopluff finds an orb. And he's going to be able to get to it. Decided to wait because he wanted to use careful firing. Get the maximum out of his rockets there. Now there's a nuke. More grenades for Prince Leaf as he do also finds an orb. Hoopla going to have a 120, Prince Leaf about a second and a half back with a 122. The good news is that both of them do have that orb. Watch out for those swirls, both of them survive the swirls. So this is Eat My Shrapnel, where we have to take down 18 of the Mr. Shrapnel dudes. But you got to make sure that only four of them are on the screen at the same time. So the key is to make sure your continuous attack, and oh no, Oopla! getting a nuke on the feet there. So that's going to be a time penalty there of about a second. So Prince Leaf might have a chance to even things up going into Total Carnage. Only four Mr. Shrapnel's maximum can be on the screen at once. So damage control is key. All the foot soldiers are out. And Prince Leaf picking up the grenades to end the room. And they are in sync. 204 into Total Carnage. But Prince Leaf with the grenades. Take down all of the foot soldiers surrounding him. He gets a spreader. Shrapnel explodes. Oopla is able to avoid the damage there. Now they're both trying to get some good weapons, maybe a razor shield. The goal is to keep the kill count high and keep control of the middle of that room. Key for Oopla. So that's not going to help him. Prince Leaf sees a nuke in a bad spot. Meanwhile, Vitamin R flowing for Oopla. Most amount of damage. And then he gets a razor shield. Another nuke for Prince Leaf. He'll use it this time. Was trying to overwhelm him a little bit. Now Hoopla picking up a spreader. So he's been getting good weapons. So the way this is shaping up to be, I believe he is going to take the lead into the bonus room. A nuke, not quite the end of the room there. These foot soldiers, that is all. It's a 301. But Prince Leaf, not that far back. About three seconds with the 304. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know what it's time for. Oh, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, product placement with Taco Bell. Yes, that's right, folks. A three-second race going into tank trouble and no weapons for either of these players to take with them into tank trouble. So a critical moment early on here in this match in game number one, a nuke. That's a good opening drop for Oopla, Prince Leaf, and invulnerability. So clear advantage there for Oopla as both gunners are down and he still has the orb intact. Prince Leaf picks up a spreader, gonna try to take down one of the gunners as he does. Oopla still has control of the middle, but the weapons have been nothing special for Oopla as they both get a dude. Prince Leaf still dancing with that one gunner and is able to take him down. Now picks up the spreader. We've seen more or less typical drops here in tank trouble for both. As I say that, a razor shield for Rinse Leaf and rockets for Oopla. So now they can both gain control of the middle here. And this is going to be pretty close going into the Mutoin Man fight, you would believe. But it is, in fact, going to be Oopla by mere seconds. 417, 418 and a half. It's a second and a half difference in the Mutoin Man. They both have the orb, so they'll both have a chance to get the ball buster. So Oopla takes down the swirl, but Oopla is going to forego the ball buster as he gets an opening spreader, followed up by a lobber. Prince Leaf now has a lobber. He's going to go for the ball buster here, and he does not get it. Prince Leaf does take a death. Oopla also taking a death, but sees the spreader. And Prince Leaf's going to get a spreader as well. They won't be able to use much on it because the invulnerability is just about out. Right now, it is Oopla with both arms popping off. So he's got about a one full form lead. 
Ukla taking the intentional here. He gets Rockets. An empty drop, though, for Brent Sleeve. So, and another empty drop for Brent Sleeve. And that lead is going to widen now for Ukla. But there's a key. Uh, he can ignore that because he still has lobbers left. Brince Leaf with another empty drop, but he has lobbers. There's a spreader, but he cannot die for it because he had invulnerability. So now he's going to have to go manual. He's waiting for an uh, invulnerability. Doesn't get it, but the penultimate form now for Ukla. Brince Leaf going to have to manual. He did some good manuals against Rysolf. This time gets vibrated by Mewtwo, man. Final form now for Ukla. He can get a good weapon here. Sub-6 is in play. It is a spreader, which is the worst weapon to have on the final form. An ultimate form now for Brand Sleep, but this is going to be too little too late. These lobbers should do it for Oopla. And they do indeed. So it is going to be the French connection. The presumable rookie of the year, Oopla, taking home game number one. And he draws first blood in this best of seven match. Oopla turning in a 606, a very strong opener. For the Frenchman. Prince Leaf finishes off Mutoid Man. A strong finish for him. He's going to be a little bit short. So just like in his match against Bryceolf, Prince Leaf dropping the opener by about 28 and a half seconds. His time's a 6.35. Nothing to sneeze at. Pretty good when you're talking about a tournament setting. But that is not going to cut it against somebody like Upla. So Upla taking game number one. We'll see if Prince Leaf can bounce back and equalize in game number two, or if Upla can be the one that takes control. Again, as I mentioned, Upla was down three games to one against Aquas before reeling off three straight and taking down Aquas. Moving on here to the second chance quarterfinals. So let's see what happens as I'm gonna get them ready for game number two. All right, I've counted down both runners here. Game number two should be underway. Good luck. All right, and here we go. Game number two between Upla, Prince Leaf. Upla up one game to nil. Prince Leaf looking to tie up this match. They both have their razor shield. We'll get them in sync in just a moment here. And keeping up with the same strats as they've been doing for the entirety of this tournament. And it is going to be Upla with the whole shot here by about a second. Very good opener there for Upla. His time is going to be... Oh, wait a minute. That's right. That's right. Never mind. We weren't in sync. Prince Leaf actually has the whole shot by about half a second. That's what happens when you don't have the runners in sync. And you kind of rely on your instincts there. So it is Prince Leaf. Not Upla with the whole shot. Nevertheless, they both have the spreader to start things off. Now a razor shield for Prince Leaf. Some good drops here. But the vitamin R now for Upla. He can shred through these foot soldiers. Now a spreader to follow it up. Prince Leaf, weapon's starting to dry up now. So you would imagine that Upla is probably going to have the lead here. And yes, indeed, even without an orb, it's a 76 second time. That is hot. Prince Leaf. Is that nuke enough? It is. It's an 83 second time. So he is about six and a half seconds behind Oopla. But more importantly, neither player has an orb as Prince Leaf getting clubbed down. We saw that happen a couple of times in this match against Bryceall picking up rockets. Oopla picking up rockets as well, but still no orbs. 18 of the Mr. Shrapnels need to go. Maximum four on the screen. Foot soldiers are down for Oopla. As Prince Leaf uses the spreader to take down the last of the foot soldiers. Oopla has enough rockets to finish off this room at a 158. That is a blazing time. That's the good news. 
bad news is he has no ore. Prince Leaf loses about a second, 205, but he has the ore. As long as he can keep that orb healthy, he will cut into that lead of Oopla's and take the lead, especially if Oopla gets dry weapons. There's a spreader. That is at least something for him, but he is still fishing for that orb. He uses the nuke. Leaf does get a Razor Shield. Now Oopla picking up rockets. Good efficient firing here is what he's going to need. Spreader's the next weapon. Prince Leaf, even though he's not really getting the weapon drops, because he's got that Razor Shield, easily is able to keep control of that middle of that room. Good firing lanes here. Oopla trying to conserve on his weapon. He's now out. Now Prince Leaf picks up rockets. This could finish the room here for Prince Leaf. More rockets now. The rich are getting richer here as Oopla, and it is going to be Prince Leaf, who is going to take the lead with a 3.02. Oopla, still no orb, is about three seconds back with a high 3.04. So once again, don't drop that Chalupa, folks. It is time for product placement with Taco Bell. So Oopla not getting the RNG here. He has done nothing wrong here. He has played extraordinarily well. If you don't have that orb, and your opponent does, there's just nothing you can do about it. So Prince Leaf, now he does have weapon left in his clip, whereas Oopla does not. And that weapon for Prince Leaf is rockets. He'll be able to take down the gunners off the wall. Oopla getting a dude. That is not going to help Oopla's cause at all. But Prince Leaf taking a death. So here's a chance now for Oopla to maybe gain some ground if he can get some strong weapons. Running into that mine. Yeah, he has done that as many, many times. That could be a very costly mine right there. That's the one thing that Prince Leaf tends to do sometimes is run into those mines. And finally, 404 into the run, Oopla picks up an orb, and then he gets rockets. No telling who's going to have the lead. It very well could be Oopla coming out of this room first. A nuke for Oopla. Not going to close out the room. In spite of the death, though, Prince Leaf is still first. With a 421, Hoopla's ma maintained the pace, but he did drop a few seconds. 427, it's a six second difference. More importantly, he's got the orb. He can do the ball buster. Prince Leaf can't. And a lobber on his feet. Prince Leaf getting sabotaged. Now that swirl's going to be chasing him. This is not good. And it is still going, still going. Finally takes him down, but having to waste a lot of that lobber there. So bad luck there for Prince Leaf. I didn't see if Oopla got the ball buster. He might have. Problem is, he's been getting empty drops. Here's a lobber now for both. Rockets now for Prince Leaf. So right now, Prince Leaf has the lead. Lobbers now for Oopla. Considering that the arm hadn't popped up, I don't think he got the ball buster there. Oh, Prince Leaf with the perfect spreader at the door after taking that death. He'll be able to get a couple forms off here. And we do indeed have a glitch toy. Meanwhile, Oopla going for the manual spreader here, right up against the door. Ribcage pops off. Prince Leaf at the penultimate form already. So he's got about a form lead on Oopla. They're both riding the lobber train. Final form now for Prince Leaf as he gets taken down. It's better than nothing, but Oopla still hasn't popped the head off. Now he does. Rockets for Prince Leaf. He probably needs one more weapon to finish off Mutoy Man. Nope, didn't even need it. And it is Prince Leaf who equalizes. And it is now essentially a best of five. Yet another 6 x for a winning time. Prince Leaf's time, 6 7 Both runners laying out some hot times here. RNG just did not flow for Oopla this time around. Didn't get that orb until 4.04 into the run. And Prince Leaf able to equalize. We're tied one game apiece. Oopla with the Rockets is able to finish off Mutoy Man, but he's going to be about 43 seconds back. So what ended up being a six-second entry 
just the drops favored Prince Leaf. A much better fight. He got a very good spreader after taking a death right at the door. Got tremendous damage on Muto Man and was able to pull away from Rupla to tie up the match. So game number three coming up. You know, I think this is a pretty good time for a channel prediction. Who is going to take that two games to one lead? See if anybody decides to take me up on that. I'm getting both runners ready to go. They are ready, so I'm going to count them down, and we're going to have game number three coming up. All right, game number three between Upla and Prince Leaf. Let's see who's going to be able to take that two games to one lead, and more importantly, try to take control of the match here. Both players have been playing extraordinarily well. The RNG has favored both at various times of this match. Let's see who's going to gain that 2-1 advantage as game number three is now underway. There's that Razor Shield. Again, both players staying true to their uh, strategies here. Prince Leaf with the top door strats, Hoopla. Kind of aiming for the bottom door strats here with that Razor Shield, wherever the spawns are. Sleep burning away the rest of that shield, and it is going to be Upla. This time, it is going to be Upla with the whole shine. This is going to be a great time. 37 high versus a low 39, about a second and a half lead for Upla, but anything that's under 40 is great. But when you're talking 37, that's high class. Razor Shield to start things off for Upla. Let's see what Prince Leaf gets. A foot, now a foot for Upla. And then an invulnerability. So nothing really special for either of these runners here. They both had a Razor Shield, but not really getting any weapons to complement that Razor Shield. And they're just going on the aggressive here. And here comes Vitamin R for Upla. Should be able to room with it. And then he gets an orb as well. So another 76 for Upla. Back to back. My goodness gracious, and this time he has the orb, so the sky could be the limit here for Upla. Watch out for that swirl. That no swirl nearly got him. Prince Leaf, 14 seconds back and doesn't have an orb. Just bad luck here for Prince Leaf. Now a razor shield late for Upla. Should be able to keep that orb strong and healthy. Vulnerability, now there's a swirl for Prince Leaf, but with the invulnerability, should be able to take him down, no problem. Grenades. Now Prince Leaf is fishing for that orb. Picks up rockets. A much better drop. More rockets coming up. But Upla, 159 into total carnage. Prince Leaf has to finish off the Mr. Shrapnels. Now a razor shield to start for Upla here in total carnage. And Prince Leaf finds himself at a 213. He is 14 seconds back. Now rockets. Now spreaders. Upla getting everything but the kitchen sink here. Meanwhile, Prince Leaf needs to see an orb or he's going to be at least 30 seconds back going into the bonus room here and he's done nothing wrong here it's just that the game's rng has absolutely laid an egg on prince leaf he does get a razor shield does get an invulnerability does get a spreader but he's not gotten that orb and the longer he goes without that orb Wupla's lead is going to grow and grow Provided he keeps that orb in play. And here, Bryceolf, who had a 250, and this is going to be another 250! Dynamite for Upla into the bonus room! My word! Upla with a 250, another 250. I believe that's the third 250 we've had in the tournament. I don't know if we've had a sub 250. I'm, I don't think we've had, but Upla laying down the 250. He keeps this up. He could be talking PB and a tournament record here, but gotta get through tank trouble first. Starts with a razor shield. Great drop. 
He'll be able to take down both gunners. And Prince Leaf, 33 seconds back, or maybe 32. He's done nothing wrong. He's just gotten lousy RNG here in this game. Hoopla now getting rockets. We could have a sub four entry into Mutoid, man, especially with these drops. I mean, Hoopla has just been pouring it on. RNG has been blessing him. Now the drops looks like are starting to dry up here in this room, which is typical, of course, in tank trouble, especially when you're on world record pace. I mean, I've seen Bryceolf run this game enough times to know when you're on this kind of pace, you're not going to have this RNG for long. But look at this. 358. He's looking for 92 seconds. If Hoopla can get a 92 second fight, PB and the tournament record are his. Man, what a time. Let's see what happens. And he starts with a spreader, but not in a good spot, and he will not get the ball buster. Next drop is Rockets. Prince Leaf, though, still orbless here. As Hoopla taking the intentional death, will not be able to get to those Rockets. Gets a spreader. He's going to take the death. It's a risk. It's a long ways to go. He doesn't get it. So, bad decision there by Hoopla, and that is probably going to be the end of dog racing for a tournament record. Prince Leaf, on the other hand, gets an orb at 440. He is 42 seconds back, but that lead could be shrinking because of that death there. First arm pops off for uh, Oopla. Prince Leaf starts with lobbers again on the feet. So again, he's got to deal with that swirl. Oh my word. Just absolutely rotten luck. Now he's going to switch into spreaders. Should be able to, and he does. Now can he get the ball buster? No. He'll have to manual with the rest of this spreader here as the second arm pops off for Oopla here. So, even though he had that... Tr but here comes a spreader for Prince Leaf to get back into this one. First arm pops off. Lobbers for Oopla. And the vulnerability! I don't believe this! This is going to be a great comeback. We are going to see a glitch toy here. No question about... No glitch toy. They're both on the same form nevertheless, though. My word! Prince Leaf with the lobbers now, and he takes the lead! 42 seconds back, and he takes the lead! Grenades now for both, but Prince Leaf has come all the way back here to take the lead. It could come down to the next spreader here, my word. And an empty drop for Upa. final four now for Leaf, and he's got lobbers. Oh, this is looking really good for Prince Leaf to make the comeback of the year. 42 seconds back, does get shot. Rockets, spreader for Prince Leaf. This should be enough to finish the job. Final form for Oopla, but it is going to be not yet, though. Too late. Wow. Prince Leaf from 42 seconds back steals it from Oopla and takes a 2-1 to lead. Can you believe it? Prince Leaf had a 1 minute and 46 second fight, whereas Oopla had a very disappointing 2 minute and 40 second fight. Can you believe it? He led by 42 seconds. He ends up losing by 11 and a half seconds. And that is the power of the Mutoid Man fight. As Bryceoff likes to say, you don't win games in the arena. If you find yourself behind the eight ball, chances are you're going to be in trouble. But in a rare twist of fate, it's Prince Leaf who gets drowned by the game's RNG up until the Mutoid Man fight. And from 42 seconds back, takes it away from Oopla, and he has a 2-1 lead. Wow, we're going to just take a, just a short breather there after we try to recover ourselves from what just happened there. For those of you who may have just joined us late in this match, this is a best of seven showdown between Oopla and Prince Leaf. Oopla won the first game, Prince Leaf just won the last two games, but he was down 42 seconds into the Mutoin Man fight, and it all started with that spreader that Oopla was not able to get by just a matter of a few frames, and then the RNG really deciding to troll on Oopla and then find favor in Prince Leaf. And it just goes to show that anything is possible.
People are saying that should be a top 10 moment of the tournament. I don't know. I don't think a clip is going to do it justice. You're going to have to highlight that entire uh, sequence, maybe that entire game. But I've got them count down for game number four, and we are underway. Game number four between Upla and Prince Leaf. Let's see if Upla can equalize or if it's going to be Prince Leaf who takes that commanding three games to one lead. Here we go. Both have their razor shield. No change in their strategy. No spawns from the top door for Prince Leaf, so this to me looks like it's going to be an Oopla hole shot here. And indeed, it is going to be an Oopla hole shot, and this is going to be a real good time yet again. Prince Leaf, about a second and a half behind. Let's look at what we've got. Mid 38 versus a low 40, high 39. So, yep, about a second and a half, just as I calculated. So we're going into collect power ups. Let's find out what happens. Looking for some good drops for both. Grenades to start for Prince Leaf, a nuke for Oopla, so nothing special. Foot followed by a razor shield. No orb yet, no rockets. But there's an orb now for Oopla, and he needs to see this luck continue here because Prince Leaf, 42 seconds back. I mean, Oopla, in my opinion, he has to shake off what happened in game number three with that uh, tournament uh, PD pace there. As Oopla gets an 80-second time, not quite the 76s he'd been getting the last two, but still pretty good. Prince Leaf with an 87, so he's roughly seven and a half seconds back. Prince Leaf again getting clubbed down. I'm starting to think this is a manipulation strat that Prince Leaf has done because that's already four times I've seen him get clubbed down in Eat My Shrapnel. To me, it's all manipulation. It's the Prince Leaf manips, whatever you want to call it. Rockets for both, more rockets for Oopla. And now the foot soldiers are down and dirty. A razor shield, Oopla probably didn't want to see that. In fact, yeah, he's going to melt it off so that he doesn't lose time at the door. Oopla with a 202. No orb yet for Prince Thief. This is an all familiar story. It's a 209. He's about seven and a half seconds back of Oopla as Oopla picks up the spreader. Vulnerability, Prince Leaf can shred through the foot soldiers and uh, Mr. Shrapnels with that. But now vitamin R for Oopla. The weapon's continuing to flow for Oopla. Following up though with a key. No pleasure dome and easy percent, as you all know. You gotta play at least normal. Now the weapon's drying up for Oopla, but Prince Leaf getting a key. That is not gonna help him. Easily gonna be a double digits lead. Back to back keys for Prince Leaf. Yikes. But a key for Oopla. Man, all these keys here. No pleasure dome to go to. So Oopla is gonna have another sub three time coming out of here with a 258. Prince Leaf does get rockets, but he is still. Orbless. Once again, he has done nothing wrong here in this arena play. It's just not getting the orb where his opponent has been getting it. So once again, he's going to have to come from behind. And he's done it before once already. No telling that he couldn't do it again. But he finds himself 22 seconds at an orb back with a 320. Hoopla. No weapon to take with him. He gets... Rockets! Man, the rich getting richer here, but then he drops the orb as he gets overwhelmed by the foot soldiers. So, maybe a very small opening for Prince Leaf if the weapons continue to drive for Oopla. Spreader now for Oopla. Prince Leaf has a little bit of clip left. I believe it is going to be... Oh, and he gets a refill on rockets, but so does Oopla. So any kind of advantage Prince Leaf, now he gets the orb in a very precarious spot and he's able to grab it. Good grab there, good patience there by the veteran Leaf. But then he loses the orb right before he hits the nuke, so... Say la vie, say la vie. But then the game gives him a replacement in generosity here to try to make this match interesting. Hoopla is still going to be in the lead with a 414. Tournament record's possible, but he's going to need a 76 second fight. Leaf trying to keep the orb healthy so that he has a chance at the ball buster and an empty drop to start for Oopla. Not what he wanted to see here. Looking for that weapon, and it's a grenade. 
The smart bomb was enough to finish the room 440, so he's 26 seconds back. Not the same deficit as last game. He does have the ore for a chance at the ball buster. Meanwhile, a spreader tries to do the manual and gets vibrated. Still will be able to get the lobbers, though. That's not a bad consolation prize. Rockets to start. That's a great drop. Take down the gunners. Now he sees the spreader. Can he get to it before he gets blocked? Yes, he can. And now Prince Leaf trying to do it again. Arm pops off. Second arm pops off. He's got the lead again. He's done it again. He was 26 seconds back, and he's got the lead again. I don't believe this, folks. So here we go. Upla trying to find a weapon. Gets run over. It's going to be Lovers, but Prince Leaf never say die. Ripcage pops open. There's a spreader for Upla, but again, has to do manuals. It's just his spreaders have just not been in the best locations. And he's about a form behind. He needs good manuals here to get back into this one. As Prince Leaf riding the old school strats, head pops off. Upla using the lobbers now. So he's about a form behind. Prince Leaf continuing to ride the lobber train, chaining these lobbers. Final form for Prince Leaf, and he's up to a big lead. Upla needs a spreader now to steal this one. There's an invulnerability, but Prince Leaf, plenty of lobbers left. Now a key for Upla. The running is looking like it's on the wall, folks, and it very well is. Prince Leaf, 42 seconds back in game three, 26 seconds back in game four, steals them both from Upla. And now Upla, just like in his match against Aquas, finds himself down three games to one. Meanwhile, Upla takes down Mutoid Man, but. Back-to-back -back disappointing Mutoid Man fights for the French Connection. And now Upla, his back is against the wall. He's going to have to do the same thing he did to Aquas. He's going to have to win three in a row against the second annual runner-up for his magnificent run as our Rookie of the Year is going to come to an end. All right, I'm going to get both runners ready here, uh, waiting to see if Prince Leaf is ready, and then I will count them down. All right, Prince Leaf just waiting for setup here, so not quite ready yet. So, coming up next, if this does indeed end in five games, it is going to be the second of our second chance quarterfinals between the third annual champion, 40-watt range, versus our very own Mr. Dino, 023. Again, as I had mentioned, all four of these runners participating today have guaranteed themselves at least $30 in cash and a Super Nintendo controller. Two winners will upgrade themselves to at least $40 in cash. That will be that much closer to the Super Smash TV Easy Percent Tournament title. Both runners are ready. I'm counting them down.
All right, I've got both runners counted down, so game number five is underway. Can Upla do the unthinkable again and come from behind three games to one down, just like he did against Aquas? Or will Prince Leaf get the job done here in game number five and punch his ticket to the second chance semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. Game five underway. Of course, have their Razor Shield. And again, no changes to the strategy. Oopla gonna wisely avoid that Smart Bomb. That's a time penalty in this case. If it's the last drop, you might use it if it's in a good uh, situation there. As Prince Leaf is gonna be the one with the whole shot this time. He's got a low 39 and Oopla with a high 39, so I'd call it about three quarters of a second. Prince Leaf has yet to get an opening orb here in Collect Power Ups. Gets rockets, that's the best drop he's seen, but look at this. Oopla gets the first orb again in Collect Power Ups. This has just been insane luck that these both runners have had in Collect Power Ups. Just two tails of the RNG. Now grenades for Prince Leaf. He is fishing for that orb. This is game number five. He has yet to see an orb in this room. Well, even though he got the early orb, didn't get any weapons to complement that orb, so only gets an 84 second time. And Prince Leaf just two and a half seconds back, but yet again, no orb into Eat My Shrapnel. He's got to feel frustrated. And Prince Leaf, again, doing the same strats he's been doing. I, I really think that's a manipulation strat. That's the Prince Leaf manipulation. I'm, I'm fully convinced that that's on purpose. And I'm thinking he does that when he has no orb. And even a razor shield for Oopla will be able to keep control of the middle, take down the foot soldiers. They're all gone. Prince Leaf, though, fishing for that orb, gets in vulnerability. She will be able to shred through the uh, Mr. Shrapnels. Still no orb. It's like deja vu all over again. 206 for Oopla. That's the last um, uh, Mr. Shrapnels. He's six seconds back with the 212 and is still. Orbless, man. The RNG that Prince Leaf has gotten in these early rooms in the arena have been gross. Smart Bomb now, a Razor Shield for Prince Leaf, so... And he's not even gonna bother trying to keep control of the middle. He is for that orb. The game is still not giving it to him. Meanwhile, Oopla picks up a Spreader, so that'll help him keep control of the middle. Now a key, so that's not gonna help him. Grenades. Prince Leaf, he is still fishing. I mean, you can't fault him. And he finally, his patience finally pays off. Now can he regain control of the middle? Oh, grenades on the feet. That could have been a near sabotage there. Watch out for that shrapnel. Here's rockets for Prince Leaf. So this is exactly what Prince Leaf needed to see. I mean, he's still going to be double digits back. Don't get me wrong. But at least it should give him a little bit of confidence. 307 is the finishing time for Hoopla into the bonus room. Prince Leaf doing everything he possibly can to mitigate that time loss. More importantly, he's on grenades on the feet again. This is going to close up the room, and he's going to find himself 16 seconds back. To me, that might seem like three seconds to everybody else, considering the deficits that Prince Leaf has had, as it's time to not drop the Jalupa. I can't even talk. It's time to not drop the Jalupa and have some product placement with Taco Bell. Opening drop is a foot for Oopla, so nothing to write home about as one gunner is down. Here's the rockets though, but drops the orb in route to trying to get them. So maybe an opening here for Prince Leaf. Spreader is not bad. One gunner is down. And the other one stays intact, got some damage on it, so he's gonna have to dance with the gunner for a little while. Rockets, though, for Prince Leaf in the middle of the room. Takes down the other gunner and is going to get control of the middle here. Rockets now for Oopla. So this is right now anybody's game at this point. More rockets for Prince Leaf as Oopla does finish up the room first. Great weapon drops. Kept them afloat. He has a 420. Prince Leaf, meanwhile, trying to finish off this room here with what's left. Any more weapons? There's a spreader. And then drops the orb late, so he will not have a chance at the ball buster. And actually lost a couple of seconds. It's now a 438. 
So 18 seconds. That's about the best deficit he's had in the last several races. So let's see if Prince Leaf can come back again or if Hoopla can force a game number six. Has a little bit of spreader clip. Now going to switch to Rockets. Get rid of the Gunners. So right now, Hoopla does have the lead. Riding the lobbers. Looking for that second arm to pop off any moment now. And there it goes. Prince Leaf still doesn't have the first arm popped off yet. But it should be going, and it is. So, Hoopla... A little bit more than a form lead as he refills on his lobbers. Both runners riding the old school strats. Consistent damage with the lobbers. Rip cage exposed. Prince Leaf with the spreader. Gonna go for it. Gonna have to go for the manuals. He'll need some good manuals here if he wants to take the lead. But there's a spreader at the door! A spreader at the door for Oopla! Did he wait too long? He waited too long! Oopla waited too long! And Prince Leaf! has evened it up! Final form now for Prince Leaf! He got a lot of damage on that! There's an empty drop for Prince Leaf, but Oopla, oh man! An empty drop for Oopla! I don't think the spreader is gonna be enough for Prince Leaf. He needs to grab the grenades here, and he does, but Prince Leaf has done it again! Massive deficits going into Mewtwo and Man Fight. 42 seconds, 26 seconds, 18 seconds. And Prince Leaf is moving on to the second chance semifinals. But Oopla, the critical mistake there, trying to ride out the lobbers too long and waited too long to take the intentional death to grab the spreader. And that, in my opinion, ended up costing him the game and the match.